Hey YouTubers, this is Joe from Artanian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary I Spy here. We're also going to have a quick look at some of the stories in the papers about the Mars Pyramid very quickly and some of the things that NASA have been saying. Uh, right, first of all, I'm going to quickly show you this image. Sol 735, Curiosity image. This is the, the Gigapan site, as you can see. MSL 735, there's the number at the top. And let's zoom in. Let's make it full screen first, if it will let me. Here we go. Here we go. Now, there's a couple of things in this image. Now, there's what looks to be like a little statue, uh, which may or may not be. Don't really know, and I can't remember where it is. Where the hell is it? But before we look at that, there's blatant evidence here that NASA are faking the sand in some areas, in in certain parts of these images, to cover things up, and we have. I think a very good example of that here. Now there's this quite large rock here, which is probably a few foot, only probably only a few foot wide. Looks large, but it's probably not that big at all. But look at the sand just below it here, and how it looks like it's been pasted in, just here, this whole area. So there may well have been something very interesting here that they didn't want us to see, and they basically copy and pasted some sand from probably another part of the image and then just paste it over it because I, I really can't see how this seam of, of sand could could actually go up against this, this rock like that I mean it's just I mean it probably did to a point it probably came to about here where this line is here see that line that's probably where it came to before and you can see if you look at the color it, it looks very patchy and obfuscated uh, you can look at these kind of patchy weird sort of blocks in there I mean that that to me looks like it's been faked uh, but there was something right next to it which I thought was pretty cool it looks like a little skull just here tiny little thing this could be a little tiny monkey or something it may just be a rock that looks like when it could be pareidolia as they keep saying everything's pareidolia look out the window and see a car is that pareidolia no it's a car but if it's on Mars everything is pareidolia of course with, uh, our ability to recognize things means we're not allowed to recognize them and no one's allowed to take us seriously right okay but yeah I mean this may well be a rock uh, but it seems to have an art like two eyes a little nose there and a little mouth here with some, some little teeth I'll, I'll quickly clip these out and put them in at the end of the video for you I'll try and I'll try and enhance that a bit it, it may or may not be until I enhance it I can't really say either way really as with a lot of these things they're fairly ambiguous and um, it's difficult to see whether they are or not because they're, they're usually either very small or they've been obfuscated and the image has been is been largely damaged by by NASA uh, and it's impossible to say either way which is probably why they do it in the first place so that we cannot be too definite about the things we're seeing right here he is uh, sorry about that I got a bit lost there it's quite small uh, this is one. This is another thing found by Rami. He put this up on Facebook uh, yesterday, I think, and it looks like a little statue head. Perhaps it may not be, of course, um, but it seems to have a little nose there, and a mouth here, a chin, and a sort of head dress or helmet or something here. Uh, don't know about this one. This is quite small. And when you zoom out, you'll see how small it is. It's right near the top of the image. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fair distance away. I mean, it's probably a good uh, 25 feet away from the rover, at least. And it's probably only about three or four inches wide, possibly smaller. Uh, it's, it's not much more bigger than that, really. So who knows? I'll, I'll do it. I'll do an enhancement clip of this and put it at the end. But it does seem to have eyes there, nose and a mouth and a chin and an ear just there. And some sort of helmet or hat and this may be part of a helmet here who knows I mean I have found quite a few statues on in the area and and other people have as well uh, but the ones I've normally published are much clearer than this so this is a, a kind of in-between one. not not really sure about that um, but interesting I thought anyway so that was that as I said there'll be clips of these in at the end of the video and we can have a closer look and see if we can get any more detail out of these things right so the other thing was uh, that I was going to mention was the fact that the rover 
has missed a whole 24 days worth of images. Now, if you look here, this is the, the main page, the multimedia raw images page from the Curiosity Rover mission. And we have here, if you look at the mass cam, in fact, if you look at any of the cams, there's a huge gap between Sol 1003 and 1027. That's 24 days. That's nearly, well, it's, it's, it's over three weeks. And if you look at any of the cameras, the set, you would find the same. There's a huge gap. There's another one here, look. 1004, 1027. You know, so basically, they've withheld a whole load of images um, since Sol 1003. Now, what was found in and around 1003 that has made them do that? Now, I wonder whether it's something to do with this thing, the Pyramid on Mars, that we published a week or two ago. Now, I was the first to get this on YouTube, actually, and uh, Rami spotted it initially and put it on Facebook. I put it on YouTube, and then Paranormal Crucible did a version of it as well, which got over 1.8 million views and was in all the press across the world, which is just, which was stunning. I mean, that was just amazing. And uh, this was a, a huge global smash, this particular thing. And uh, basically... Um, I actually think now, if you look at the souls leading up to uh, what uh, soul 1003, this is soul 1003. Now, for about a week or, or, or so, but maybe two weeks, they were sat right here in this area staring at this thing that looks to me like a square paving slab, like you would see on the street. It, it's got uh, a right angle corner here, it's got another right angle just here. And there's another one there. I mean, this may, may be natural, and there's lots of other kind of broken shale rock and, and volcanic rock and sediment here, uh, which is all just like broken up and, and stuff, you know. I mean, this was the bottom of a river or lake, I should say. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks to me like a, a square paving slab. Now, it may be natural, but why would they spend weeks sat here staring at it if it wasn't something interesting? I mean, they they weren't just staring at this. I mean, there's multiple cameras on the rover, so they were taking images all the way round. And what they what they may have done is actually seen some of our videos um, that were posted, and maybe saw. I mean, this may have happened before this got into the press. I don't know, but they may have seen some of the things that we'd found recently. Not just this pyramid, but there are others um, as well. Uh, maybe they thought, oh, we'll go back and have a look at it. Because they, they would have only, literally only had to have moved a few metres to go back and have a closer look and maybe dig a hole or, or drill some holes in, in the uh, in the pyramid or, or next to it. <clears throat> and, and maybe they dug underneath it. There was this one also. Let's pause that. That's uh, only a... a a few days before or a week or so further back i mean so there's been a couple of these pyramidal structures found recently and i think they may have gone to have a closer look after seeing what we posted um up on youtube and places like that they may have thought oh let's go and have a look and they've they've withdrawn the images which i think is highly suspicious uh so you've got this, this 24 day gap between souls with nothing absolutely nothing so that to me I've, I've never noticed that happen before with the rover uh it, it's extraordinary i mean there was a there was a period a while back about a year ago where they sort of shut it down a bit uh, just for a few days but that was only a few days i think they had a few problems with the arm or something it wasn't that long ago actually it was, it was fairly recently um but they were still taking photos not very many but they were still taking some uh, so I find that very, very odd indeed. And the, the, the pyramid thing, uh, there was a statement that this is this is what was cool about the pyramid uh, object, is that, that NASA felt the need to actually make a statement to the public, which was in all the press. This is this is from the examiner uh, site here. Uh, the, the, this quote was in all the all the newspapers and all the newspapers around this story. Uh, Jim Bell, who's professor of planetary science at Amazon, Arizona State University and member of Mars Rover exploration team, 
says that rather it's rather unlikely that Martians built a standing structure like the pyramids found in ancient Egypt. In an interview with USA Today Network, Bell confirmed that the image was a pyramid-like formation, but noted that natural formations with smooth, even pyramidal sides can be a result of erosion. Right. Perfect pyramids made by erosion. What? So the wind had to blow exactly from each direction to, to, to erode it equally? I don't think so. Uh, he says it's not all that uncommon for natural formations to appear as recognizable objects. The human eye is good at recognizing familiar shapes or human features in random objects. And it goes on about pareidolia and the usual crap you get given, all the swamp gas kind of nonsense. Uh, but it, uh, this is a little bit more sympathetic than a lot of the, uh, the articles on this um, thing here. Uh, so there we go. I mean, I just thought that was rather odd that, that, that they had, not only did they feel the need to come out and make a statement, and also in other part, in other um, newspapers, it did say that they, uh, they, the reason they put out these images is that, so they think that maybe one day some school kid might find a fossil or something, and then they would publish it and announce life on Mars. But I, I really can't see that. Um, I mean, would they take me seriously if I pretended to be a school kid <laughs> and lied about my age uh, and 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 stuff? You know. Uh, would they would they recognise the fossils and and and, and uh, skulls and and multiple statue heads and very clear uh, anomalies that, that I found and there, and lots of other people have seen them as well. I mean this isn't one of the greatest examples of of, of recent times, but any anyone who's been on my channel will know that there are, there are hundreds and hundreds of these things and NASA very rarely actually make a statement unless it's something like the traffic light which they also said was natural which looks completely unnatural uh, there are many many things and the uh, you know they look blatantly manufactured a lot of these things and are not just easily explained away by pareidolia because I mean pareidolia does exist we know it does uh, I like to call it matrixing or something like that, where we, we do see familiar shapes in things. But that doesn't explain a lot of the things we're seeing because basically these are three-dimensional objects. They have shadows. They're not they're not clouds. These are solid objects. And basically what the scientific fraternity are trying to say is that people like us are not qualified to identify things. Even if, like me, uh, you've done sculpture and you've been a portrait artist for, for donkey's years, and used to work uh, in th with three-dimensional models and three-dimensional stuff as well. Uh, you know, uh, you know. If when I see a statue, I see a statue. As far as I'm concerned, I know about statues. I know about art. So I've done. Uh, I mean, check out some of my other videos recently. I mean, there's a. Uh, if you haven't already, this one here, Gods and Mars and Earth. There, there's a whole bunch of the statues in there compared back to back. And I go into some detail about the art and, and the, the possible facial differences as well. So check that out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.